So people are like coming up to me and saying, yeah, I love all your videos and everything you're saying is great and it's practical. It's not genius, but it's practical and you're showing us how to do it and we appreciate that. But there's a big problem. I'm not as charismatic or, you know, over the top or handsome as you are. You know, so what do I do? And I wanted to finally break something down. When did being completely over the top and full of en- energy and just massively explosive becomes so awesome. Because a lot of people email me and tell me how awesome it is and how they wish they were like that. But I gotta be honest with you, if you're an introvert instead of an extrovert, you could be doing the same things I'm doing. You've just gotta crush them with content, guys. Do you think it's a lot of fun to be the way I am? Let me tell you something. I'm just embracing who I am and I'm accepting who I am. And that's what's so important. You've gotta really just love your own DNA. You are you and if you've got good content and you know what you're talking about, whatever the subject matter is, you'll be respected as long as you hustle and keep putting it out there. See, the funny thing is, guys, is that there are plenty of people, plenty of people, and you know them behind the scenes. It's great that, oh, I have all this popularity and a lot of people say nice things. It's because I really do care and I do pump out stuff and I think that it's got some value and I really, really do care and people feel it because I email everybody back and I direct message people. But there are plenty of people that think I'm a jerk off, that think I'm a douchebag, that think I'm way high energy or full of shit. There's people out there that think that. And what I've noticed over the last two, three years is that over time, not that I've won them over, but that I've continued to pump out good content, I continue to you know, put my, uh, my work where my mouth is, or what is it, you know, you know, I just continue to answer my email, I continue to work hard, I continue to build brand equity, I continue to also give and do 15 minute phone calls with people that just randomly ask for it. And I think when you do the right things, when your actions speak louder than your words, even if your words are completely obnoxious and over the top, like some people think I am, or very slow and somber and articulate and direct, like maybe you are, It's all about the content at the end of the day. And sure, I could be a showman and all that, and that's just my natural DNA, but if you don't think I realize that if I just toned it down a hair, just a hair, that I would be more accepted, there's plenty of people that hate my style. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of people that hate that over the topness and it's too much and everybody thinks I'm on crack or Red Bull. I get it and I respect it. And I think people need to understand that. You need to respect other people's opinion. You need to be truthful with yourself. I'm telling you, If I was 7% less over the top, I'd be 10 times bigger, if you understand where I'm going with that. But I can't be 7% less. I've got to be me. And the quicker you're you, and realize it's not the personality, but it's the content and the hard work, and seeing opportunity, and networking, and however you do it, that really separates you from the pack. I can yell and scream, and be all crazy, and do all this, but unless I back it up, unless there's true results, Unless people go out there and use me for consulting and then do things and it actually works. Unless all those things happen, you lose. So it's about the chops. Do you have the chops? If you do, it doesn't matter if you yell or if you whisper.